regardless of the athlete, regardless of the strength, if a guy's not ready to hit on time, he's going to be in trouble. Okay, that's, things tend to break down after that. I don't even like guys thinking about timing up a pitcher. I want guys feeling like they're actually waiting on a good fastball. Prepped to hit earlier on time and then actually hitting deep. Okay, so we're going to overemphasize the movement of actually, of actually getting loaded here. So he's going to do the first drill here. His feet are going to be at the front of the box. He's going to step back aggressively to the back of the box. Okay, and he's going to actually force himself to feel himself getting gathered in this back hip. Now when he steps back, as soon as this foot strikes the ground, his front foot is going to come up. Okay, I'm encouraging to act for him to actually lift his foot in the air. I think a lot of times we talk about a hitter needs to get his foot down. It needs to get down in time. It needs to get down. Okay, the foot can't get down until it gets up. Okay, and I think a lot of times hitters limit their movement because they're not comfortable in space. I'm trying to force him to be more athletic and be comfortable actually moving in the midst of competition. Okay. The second drill I would do to emphasize the load um, would be what I, I call it the Malone. I got it from Scott Malone, the head coach at Corpus. I got it from him the first year we started coaching together. Again, a very simple drill. What Will's going to do, he's going to choke up on the bat. Okay, He's going to be at contact with a good base underneath him. Okay, and when he's ready, he's gonna, he's gonna pull the bat back. He's not gonna sweep the zone. He's gonna come straight back up. And about the time his hands get past the midline here, he's gonna visualize there's a string from his knob to his front foot. And when he pulls his hands back, it's gonna pull his foot up for him. And again, all these drills being field, field drills, they're exaggerations. But when we start doing adjustability drills, we start working on really driving fastballs, being on time, being able to dominate that pitch in adjusting and handling breaking balls. So the first drill I'm going to do here, I really like this one because it, we could get really technical on what the body's doing on adjusting the breaking balls. I'll toss here to Will. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay right in the inside part of the plate. He's trying to dominate and stay connected. In the middle part, he still should be able to reject this ball right through the middle. If I give him that, boom. He's got a slight hesitation just in the same way that it would be in the game when the ball starts to spin. If he's good in his lower half, he's going to be able to adjust and contact the ball the right way. Good. Now he had a little bit too much of a pause there. Okay, but it's early in the morning.